I got a Rolex. Get my wrist, nigga. You better act like you know, nigga. <laughs> what they say? Hold your roll up. Hold them rollers up, let go, nigga. I got a Rolex. That mean more sex. Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny. My hair has been shampooed and conditioned off camera. I will link my wash day routine video for you to check that out for details on the specifics of how I do that. Um, you can see I kind of have texture in my hair and that's because I don't let my relaxer sit too long. I like to put it in, smooth it out, and rinse it straight out. That gives me kind of texture, makes my hair look a little more thicker, and it's just a preference of mine that I've been doing for maybe the past four relaxers, I think. Um, so I proceed to detangle my hair with my Smooth and Shine Silk and Sleek Straightener Polish apply it all throughout my hair and I also apply a little bit of oil you'll see later in the video sometimes I apply a lot of body just for extra silk and hold to my uh, curls if I choose to feather my hair so I'm using my uh, vented hairbrush from Dollar Tree you can use your comb attachment normally you all know I do use my comb attachment I just wanted to try something different and actually use just a vented brush and see what kind of you know if it would be any difference in my results of me using an attachment versus me using a brush so it pretty much was the same thing it's just more convenient to have the clip attached to your blow dryer that way both of your hands aren't working so hard and I like to blow dry my hair thoroughly I make sure it's really straight if you choose to air dry then that is your preference just do what you prefer this is just me showing you out how I straighten my hair so this is the nape and I'm trying to grow it out that's the length that it is right now as I start getting new growth I go ahead and I use my mini iron on the roots to really get that straight because I feel like when I don't get my roots well it kind of makes the rest of my hair start curling up also so I proceed to doing about one to two passes it's not on 450 um, it's not on 140 either it's somewhere in the middle just set it to what you prefer I apply more serum to each large section and then I make smaller sections and I just wake my make my way towards the front until I'm done uh, depending on the thickness of your hair you may want to turn your flat iron up a little bit higher or just do more passes but that's really your preference um, this is just how I do my hair I only do about one to two passes and you see that I am using my mini flat irons to make sure I'm getting my roots really straight and I like to curve my flat iron as I go along because I don't really like my wrap to be really just blunt straight on me I like it to kind of have a bend in it so I make sure that I'm curling my uh, wrist the entire time and the details about all the products that I'm using all the tools and everything will be linked down below so I'm just gonna let you all watch the rest of the video now And so I'm down to the last section now, and why is it like that? With these parts, you can go to the left or to the right. My sister's just getting ready, so pay attention to whatever you choose. I put my camera in a different spot from where I usually put it at, so hopefully I got a good angle. Hopefully everything is easy peasy. I don't have a mini iron. This is about the size of a decent size section. Yes, I'm going to oil my hair when I'm done. You just make sure you get on the root really good, right? I curl the entire time because it helps it to get the way I like it. If you only want it straight, then pull your flutter and straight down. If you straighten your hair, you want all of it straight. You don't want like, see this? Let's see if I can focus it. This is the amount of, like that's what it looks like right now as far as new growth. It's not that much, but it's enough for me to really want to use my mini irons. And I just kind of tap and pull just really on that part only. Then I do that. I'm going with the large one. Y'all ask me about the temperature a lot of times. It's not on 450. There aren't any numbers in here for me to be really saying like what it's on. But it's not on 450 and it's not on 140 either. So set yours to what you want it on. If you want to set it on 450, go right ahead. That's your preference, your choice. You know how often you straighten your hair. Usually if I do put it on 450, which is barely ever, never, <laughs> then I only do one pass because it's hot enough to where you don't really even got to do more than one. But like I said, that's more like just preference. Too. All of this is just preference. <laughs> just do what you like for your hair. Normally I know I feather this, but I don't know she if I'm going to feather it. turn it up high so you can burn your hair out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I said do what you prefer. Do what you prefer. Yeah, it's your hair. Something I ain't going to tell nobody it. don't use it on full feet. You do what you want to do with your flat iron, honey. And I straighten my hair maybe once a month or just as often as I like. I feel like I have to clarify everything being a YouTube. If y'all was to see me with straight hair and then you see me with straight hair again, somebody gonna say, I thought you said you only straighten your hair once a month. Like if it's a special occasion or whatever the case may be or just Destiny just want to straighten Destiny's hair, then you know, that happens. 
I just strain it once a month. Do roller sets in between or whatever else happens. Don't think so hard about your hair. Just do it, okay? Girl, look at my hair. <laughs> I like it better after. I oil it, wrap it, and it just looks all good. My mirror is behind me. So I know I can't take, you know. Y'all see me moving my head and stuff around because I have to do what I got to do to get it right. I can't believe I didn't feather my hair that much. But I just go in, separate all of my edges out. You saw that I did do the back as well because you just never know. The wind might blow. You might want to put it up a ponytail. Whatever the case may be. Just really just take your small one. And like you're pressing it or you are pressing it out. And I go back because it helps me to just get it really straight. It just takes time. the time to go ahead and do your hair then do it. Whatever you prefer. It's all presentation and it all just looks good and goes together and just lays together. And it just slay and lay, you know, like. So you'll like it, but your hairstyle ain't like complete if your edges are on fleek, so make sure your edges on fleek. I think fleek is kind of getting played out now, but I don't know, that's just me. Find my part, control off my hands, I just rub the wrists under my neck back here, just to grab those really small pieces. A few drops of my oil, okay, more than a few drops, but it's my whole head, and I just put it all over my hands, so that way when my hands go all in my hair, this happens. And especially the ends, because I told you I am growing my hair out now. I'm not going to keep it at shoulder length anymore. For those of y'all that be wondering, that's not hair the same length, blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't know what I be doing off of this camera. With them trims and haircuts and just don't take everything so personal, okay? It's just YouTube. As my little sister would say, she likes her hair better after she's let it settle and sit and all of that. And I can most definitely agree. I think I'm going to take new photos while my hair is freshly done. Like for all my social sites because the one I have up, I'm not even on their age anymore. So I really need to update it. This is just edge control I'm putting on. Like an edge timer or whatever. I try to get all the little pieces. Like every little hair. You can use your fingers too. It really helps. We don't show them. If I want to keep the little feather part, I will pin this and then wrap over it. I'll link my how I wrap and flip and then I wrap. How I wrap and unwrap my hair, it'll be over in the card over there. I don't never know which is the left or the right. Y'all know the cards that pop up. Click it. It'll show you how I wrap and unwrap my hair. At night when needed, I just put a little more serum on my hair, a little more of this oil um, through my hands or whatever, and I just wrap it up with your parts and all of those things, however, whatever you like. Uh, I don't know what that's looking like. <laughs> it moves, girl. It moves. Love it a lot. I like it a lot. I go to the dealership and fish tell off the lot. <laughs> I go ahead and wrap up my hair after I'm done because it helps everything to kind of just sit and settle really nicely. Makes it look more smooth and more laid down and flat and neat. I apply any oil, whatever kind I prefer, a sheen or oil, serum, whatever. And then I just proceed to style my hair. I wear this style for about a week and a half or however long it lasts me. I do this about once a month, like I said. All questions and comments, be sure to leave those down below. Subscribe for more videos. And I thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video.